What is going on everyone? This is Andrew O'Connell with Pristine Capital coming at you with yet another market recap video. I'm also the director of research at LaDuke Trading. It is January 20th, 2021. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content and I will continue to make it for you. Today we're going to be talking about the price action of the indices. We'll talk about the significant fall off in volatility today. We'll go into the hood and check out the sectors and style factors, some of the trades that I took, and I did have to, you know, like pivot myself today. So that's pretty cool. You know, I'm going to go into that and then we'll wrap up with some options order flow. But before I jump in, quick risk disclaimer, nothing in this video should be construed as investment advice or recommendations. Please follow your own trading plan and your own risk parameters. And last but not least, do not YOLO your entire account into any one of my trades. So let's jump right into it. Let's start off with our headline indices. We have the S&P 500 up 1.38% today. We have the NASDAQ QQQ up 2.33%, the big winner for today. We have the IWM small caps up 0.44%, and we have the Dow Jones up 0.79%. So if we take a look at the S&P 500, you know, this is a pretty bullish breakout. So this is essentially... Now we had a couple days of consolidation heading into OPEX. Then we had um, you know, a pullback to the 20 day simple moving average on Friday. But then we pretty much bullish engulfed that candle uh, yesterday's trading day. And now today we're getting that follow through. So what you can see on the tape, you know, and we'll go, we'll actually go into the hourly chart first. I actually had a spy hedge on the books that I took off today. And here is why. So I was pretty much like uh, subscribing to the fact that, you know, we had a bunch of crazy call activity heading into options expiration and there was going to be this gamma roll off um, and pretty much like a pocket of potential weakness, um, you know, heading into this particular week. So essentially what happened Friday was, you know, like in line with that thesis, you know, we did end up getting some market weakness where the S&P 500 you know, decline below the weekly value area. And it looked like, okay, you know, let's see if we get some sort of sell off or, you know, some real selling pressure into this week. But essentially, you know, that didn't manifest, you know, in the slightest. You know, like I said yesterday, um, and then today, we had pretty much a bullish engulfing candle. Uh, let's see, we're gonna wait for the program to respond. Let's see my tosses trying to quit on me here. Let's see, I'll probably just take a sec. I'm gonna pull up trading view, uh, just in case here. Okay, so looks like my toss is back. Yeah, so we got this pullback weekly value area and sort of my thesis was, you know, we could end up staying below, but I will invalidate, you know, any sort of like cautious uh, positioning if we break above this point of control and then even more so if we break above weekly value area at 38.13. And that's exactly what we did, where you can see we lifted all the way through these areas and we actually broke out today. Um, so I ended up closing my spy hedge for about like a 20% loss on that one, uh, but that's okay. The reason why it's there is to hedge the portfolio and really the reason for hedging was no longer there, so I took it off. Um, and I think what really catalyzed this huge move was the strength in Netflix. So if we take a look here, Netflix, you know, had a really good earnings report. We talked about that yesterday. And you can see, look at this crazy gap up. So, and typically when there's a gap up, that means something happened that was very unexpected in terms of, you know, Wall Street positioning, Wall Street's expectations of what the report was going to look like, et cetera. And this is a breakout of, you know, pretty much like a five to six month consolidation. So this is not something where I'd be like, oh, this is so like speculative. Oh my gosh, Netflix is like blowing off. Like this is just, you know, a breakout from a six month consolidation. So there's nothing really like too extended about what's going on here. And in this marketplace, especially with the spy, you know, I think like the first like reaction here is, okay, Netflix had a crazy earnings report and it broke out. The Netflix chart looks almost identical uh, to what you're seeing in stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, 
all those big mega cap tech names. So pretty much, you know, as one might expect, all of these names rallied. I think the, you know, the logic is, hey, if Netflix had really good numbers and they broke out of a six month consolidation, maybe we should get into position in some of these other uh, mega cap tech names just in case they also have good reports. So under that backdrop, um, to me, it didn't really make sense to have a spy hedge because a lot of these names, you know, what happens if they all start breaking out and making new highs? Like in that scenario, I do not want to be hedged to the spy. Let's see, I'm just going to pull this up here. Just bear with me one sec. I'm going to pull up our heat map. Let me close out some of these windows. This might be why I'm having some issues here. So we'll close that. We will close this. There we go. I had a bunch of windows open here. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna pull this up over here. Close this out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so let's pull up our heat map. And sure enough, this is what we saw today. So essentially what happened there was there was a bit of a rotation from more so like cyclicals and I guess like reopening stocks back to those mega cap tech names. So look at how strong these were. Netflix up 16% in change. Amazon, really nice day. Google, really nice day. Facebook as well. Microsoft and Apple. Under that scenario, especially we're coming into the earnings season for all these names, that's not a scenario where I want to be, you know, hedged going into those prints. So what I actually did today is, and we're sort of going out of order, is I actually got long some calls in the XLK. And the reason why is because so I took off my spy hedge and to sort of get myself back in line with the trend um, I took some calls in XLK. And you can see here, you know, the XLK is by no means extended. It's really just been consolidating sideways for a couple weeks. And today was really like the first sort of breakout candle. And if I pull up the XLK, what I like about this one is that when I look at these top holdings, the top holdings here, Apple, Microsoft, Visa, NVIDIA, and really like the two major holdings are Apple is 22.71% of this fund and Microsoft is 19.6%. So about like 40% between these two names. And it looks like we're getting some nice setups there. So if I take a look here, if I look at Apple, Let me just zoom this in. Yeah, so Apple had a pretty nice, you know, bullish candle today. And you can see we closed up above that 20 day simple moving average. I could definitely see this one running into the earnings print. And you can see Apple has earnings January 27th. So for anyone that thinks, hey, what if Apple does what Netflix did? I think it makes sense that some of these institutions might add two positions. So I got long the June calls in XLK. And I figured, you know, just in case we do get any sort of volatility, let me go far out in time. I'll pick up the June calls. And I got the 129 strike. So slightly in the money on these. And I do have some time, you know, to see if they work. And, you know, sort of just like sit through a consolidation if need be. So let's see. I think that is really like the big story for today, that rotation into the mega cap tech names. And pretty much what always happens with these rotations 
is on the first day there's usually like some sort of like disbelief where people are just like oh man like it wasn't in those names and you know they did really well today like look at amazon also moving towards the top end of its recent range you know sort of jumping all around here but if you look at amazon you know also broke out of the monthly value area so with these names a lot of people have been burned trying to play them to the long side like including myself you know, I've certainly gotten chopped up in Apple before, but I think this is just, you know, a different setup given that we have earnings ahead and that Netflix really set the tone. So a lot of people, they'll be in disbelief on a day like today, but then if we get a follow through day, then it'll be like, oh man, I really missed it. And then sort of the trade is gone. So what I wanted to do is like get myself in line with the trend and just be very open to a run into earnings for a lot of these mega cap tech names. So I got myself positioned in XLK. I also took some Apple calls for February. So we have right here, this one looks pretty bullish to me. And I could see it getting back to that prior all time high. So I picked up some February calls in Apple with the 132 strike. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, but this one, I do like this setup for Apple. Now let's take a look. We'll pull up our sectors and style factors here. And in terms of the action that we saw, let's take a look. So we had KWeb, these Chinese internet names, up 4.79%. This one is on a really nice run, although now it's a bit extended. Um, you know, there was like a live stream or video of Jack Ma essentially showing the world, you know, he's okay. His world isn't completely over, even though the CCP, you know, was upset with him and his company for a little while. So that was bullish. You know, for that stock and really just for this sector group. So KWeb, you know, doing really well. Then we had, in terms of the strength, real estate up 2%, which is kind of rare. You know, the XLK, I want to see if this moves up a couple of rungs in terms of the momentum list over the next couple of days. Even GDX had a pretty good day, up 3.36%. But at this point, you know, GDX has just not really been a strong performer. You can see for the month, down 3.22%. And it looks like the global autos did pretty well too, up 2.4%. And then in terms of our style factors, I think what's interesting, we had momentum up 2.02%. We had quality up 1.02%. And the quality style factor is one that I rarely talk about, but I would imagine those companies like Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google are in that quality basket. And then we had growth up 2.13%. So it was a great day for momentum and growth cyclicals and high beta which you know are actually at the top of this momentum list uh were the laggards today so pretty interesting there and then in terms of these trades already talked about xlk already talked about apple already talked about spy the other one i traded was a y r w f which is a cannabis name and this one you know, i've been just progressively adding to cannabis exposure and i've been a bull on this space for long long time but this is just like one of many cannabis names i've been trading ayrf you know this one dipped uh almost to that 20 day simple moving average and i bought this one for around like 28 dollars and change so it looks like it pulled back you know slightly from where i purchased it but this is a name that i want to hold for the long term and especially while it's in this sort of sideways consolidation you know this is where i want to add to it so added a little bit there. And then let's take a quick look. We will check out some of the options order flow. Let's see what we got here. So these are the orders $1 million and up. And I see some hedges going up, uh, you know, Take it for what it's worth. Doesn't mean the market is going to go down, but definitely seeing a little bit more hedging as of late. So I see some spy hedges going up, uh, XLE puts. The XLE actually looks interesting because even if the market doesn't go down, you know, if there is this rotation to those mega cap tech names I was just talking about, I would imagine XLE would be an underperformer in that scenario. But yeah, this, this chart looks pretty bullish nonetheless. That's not one that I would take. Uh, some people fading the Netflix move. 
We have a call buyer in Google that came in at 2.48 p.m. towards the end of the session. They bought the June 2000 strike calls. Let's see Google. It's another one that falls into that mega cap tech basket. Yeah, and Google, this is an awesome breakout right here. You know, on pretty high volume if you take a look. So yeah, I definitely think, um, you know, I'm seeing on Twitter, you know, everyone's saying like, this is stretch, this is crazy. But these names that I think people are going to rotate into, these are not really stretched by any means. Like Google will base for months and months and months, then make a move, base for months. So this to me doesn't seem really like too crazy or too far out there. Um, and then we have, this is an interesting one, Next Terra Energy. Uh, these are for a year out, the 50 strike calls. And this makes sense with the whole like clean energy theme. Uh, Next Terra Energy has been on a pretty much on a tear here. And you can see they report January 26th. But this one, the company generates electricity through wind, solar, nuclear, coal, oil, and nat gas facilities. So that's pretty interesting. And then the other one that I thought was pretty interesting was or actually the last two are the Neo order and the Uber order. So if you look, Uber, I know a lot of people have been, you know, pounding the table on this one bullish. Uber has not really been, you know, the best performer. Like we based for a couple months after the election, you know, that crazy run. We had a little bit of a breakout, but then we really just came right back in. Um, so who knows, maybe this is the pullback and Uber can actually make a little run here. What I noticed was the Uber chart and the Neo chart look almost identical. So you can see Uber announced the secondary up here and it's pulled back a little bit. And who knows, it's starting to uh, catch up to that 20 day simple moving average. So if we got, you know, a couple more days of sideways consolidation, you know, I would definitely be interested in swinging Neo long. That about does it for this recap video. Hope you all have a great night. I'm about to go smash out a run really quick and I will see you all tomorrow.